Right, g'day guys, Matt from The Explore Life here, back with another little segment of tips and tricks. Now look, I've just got back from a full lap around Australia, and uh, I'm gonna talk to you today about a product that I've been using for the last sort of four or five years on multiple of our uh, different Explore Life vehicles. It's airbags, guys. Uh, look, it's something that back in the day was only really used in that commercial application, and over the past 10 years, it's come in leaps and bounds. So Airbag Man is the, the, the product that I've been using. They have an array of different products, uh, everything from your light vehicles, heavy vehicles, commercial use, camper trailer, caravans, uh, they do it all, guys. Now, they've been manufacturing uh, and supplying product since 1995, uh, Australian-owned company, which is absolutely unbelievable. So um, I'm gonna run you through some of the products that I've used on my vehicles over the last sort of four or five years. Now, um, to kick it off, the first time I really got introduced to Airbag Man was when I had my 76 series Land Cruiser. Now, it's a mid wheelbase Land Cruiser with leaf springs in the rear. The more and more gear we put on it, the more and more the arse end started to sag down. So first thing we did was uh, obviously get our leafs readjusted to the correct weight. I was running a lot of extra gear, but rooftop tents, awnings, and uh, although the Leafs were set perfectly for around town driving, when I loaded all that extra gear in there, all our food, extra water, fuel, and uh, of course all the camera gear when we're heading away filming, I found the, 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 the back end just started to sag down a little bit. So uh, that was the first time I got introduced to Airbag Man, uh, was their Leaf Assist Airbags. Now, super simple, easy to fit. You can DIY this one at home, guys. But um, that was the first application. From there, we moved into the 79 series where it was a leaf sprung rear. We did a full coil conversion on this truck. Leaf sprung rear and we used their coil assist kit. Um, this one was a little bit flasher. Instead of uh, being able to pump the bags up manually at the back, like we did on the 76, which is one of their more basic systems, we actually linked it up to the uh, ARB link system and we run this one off the air tank. So super easy to be able to adjust in car. This, this vehicle here, sort of, I sort of have three applications for it. Completely empty when I'm driving around town. Then we had the boat that I was towing. It's about two ton we'd tow around. And uh, that was my second pressure I'd set. And then fully loaded with all the gear plus the caravan to travel around Australia. And I just bumped that up to another pressure setting, which meant my vehicle sat absolutely perfectly level no matter uh, how much different weight variation I was carrying. One of the other biggest things I've found through the 76 and the 79 is the rear airbags really stiffened up that rear end and took a lot of the uh, a lot of the sway out of the vehicle, given the fact that I was running a lot of weight up top. So that was definitely a huge benefit, uh, obviously along with being able to adjust the pressures to carry different weights. From there, we got a little bit more serious. We went up to one of their newer products, full air ride system in our GU uh, Patrol. It's our camera car. So it's a coils all round, coils come out, airbags go in, uh, and this thing gives you the ultimate adjustability. We can go from two inches, which is our set ride height, and it drives like an absolute dream. We can lift it up to about four inches in height when we're off road and we're trying to get over some of those uh, harder obstacles. And then when you rock up to camp, we drop all the air out. It makes that roof rack accessibility super easy. Makes it nice and easy to get in the back of the car. Not to mention, if you are running a rooftop tent, you can literally level side to side as well as back and forwards and up and down. So if you're running a rooftop tent, uh, which we will be on the GU Patrol, it allows the boys to rock up at camp level the car so they get a nice good night's sleep without uh, all the blood rushing to their head. The other application I've used, guys, um, is the full air ride system in the caravan. We've got it here behind us in the little 14 footer. It is a game changer. Um, I've run a few different caravans and a few different camper trailers over the years. Uh, this is an application you can do in both camper trailers, uh, caravans, you can run it on your boat trailer if you wanted to, or even your toy haulers. Now, it gives you the ability in the caravan specifically when you rock up to camp, instead of having to, you know, chock things under the wheels and have the missus bloody yell and scream at you when you're trying to work out if it's level, it's as simple as rocking up, unhooking the van, and nice, easy, simple adjustments, side to side to get that van sitting spot on level. It's a game changer, and when you rock up to a caravan site and you just sit there and adjust your van side to side, you definitely get a few funny looks from those blokes that don't have a day. If you wanna check out any of these products, guys, or you want more information, uh, jump over to their website. They've got a super easy to use website 
where you can literally pick your vehicle and see all of the different applications uh, so you can mix and match and have a little bit of a play. If you're not keen on the DIY, uh, airbag men are Australia wide and global so they'll have an airbag specialist somewhere near you to give you a hand with installation. If you want to know more guys jump on their website that's the easiest way. There is a lot more products that I haven't listed today but that's just a few that I've been lucky enough to use and I'll tell you what I would not build a vehicle without them and I certainly won't be towing anything unless it's got the airbags in it as well. Hope you enjoyed this little tip and trick guys. Uh, Till next time make sure you get out and enjoy the Explore Life.